China's electric car sales in February were absolutely ballistic. They were triple, as in three, in fact, more than three times higher than they were in the same month last year. So yeah, all you analysts from all you so-called expert investment banks and all you other mental places who claim you know what you're talking about, baloney, you all have no idea. Hello, my friends, welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. And China loves EVs. Holy hell, do they love EVs. And you know what? BYD's Gigafactory, BYD's literal Gigafactory that the West doesn't even know about, that cost $2.5 billion and was built in 10 months and is about to open, hasn't even opened yet. We're on the precipice here, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. February in China. 334,000 electric vehicles were delivered, which is insane because in February last year, the number was 100,000. So you can see that's way more than, that's quite a bit more than triple this year. And February is basically the month when half of China goes to sleep and, or goes on holidays. They shut down most factories for around about two weeks in February in China. To give you some context, electric vehicle sales deliveries were 531,000 in December of last year. Generally, vehicle deliveries are between double and triple in December what they are in February. So that means that really by December of this year, we're going to see probably around about 800,000 electric vehicle deliveries in December, around 800,000 in a single month. That is pretty crazy. So what was the breakdown? I'll give you the numbers now. China's new energy vehicle sales in February were 334,000. That's an increase of 198% year on year, but it's down 22% from January when they don't shut down. According to data released today by the Chinese Association of Automobile Makers called CAAM, February sales of new energy passenger vehicles, as reported by CNAVPost.com, were 321,000. Among those, pure electric sales were 246,000. That's an increase of 155% year on year. And plug-in hybrid sales were 75,000, an increase of 340% year on year. To give you some context on that, let's compare January in Europe to January in China. In Europe, 156,000 plug-in hybrids and fully electric cars were delivered. 156,000 across the entire continent of Europe. In China in January, 431,000 were delivered. 156 versus 431,000. Yeah, you can see here China really has the bull by the horns, you might say. Now, China's actual production of cars, though, was different. In February, their production of electric vehicles was 368,000. That's an increase of 200% year on year. Exports of electric vehicles were 48,000 in February, up 277% year on year and down 13% from January. Obviously, the majority of those were actually Tesla vehicles. However, there are a number of Chinese car companies, NIO, Xpeng, Leap Motor, and a couple of others as well that are also exporting EVs now to Europe. China's sales of all vehicles in February period were 1.737 million units. That's an increase of 18.7% year on year. And it's down 31% from January, which is pretty normal, of course, because like we said before, factories are shut down. Customers are not going into dealerships as well. Among them, passenger car sales with 1.487 million units, an increase of 28% year on year. And automakers are accelerating their pace of new product launches. And the Chinese auto market is expected to show steady growth over the first quarter of this year. Now, one thing to keep in mind and to remember is that most people in China don't actually have a car. In the West, most people who want a car, not all, but most, have one. 
In China, that, that's not the case at all. There's a huge number of people. There's literally hundreds of millions of people in China who are kind of, the, one of the reasons they're buying these little Hongwan mini EVs for 5,000 US dollars is because that's really all they can afford. And that's one of the great things about those cars. It's basically giving these people the ability to have electric mobility and the ability to have mobility, period. Now, you might be asking, is China going to be affected by the Russia-Ukraine conflict? And the fact that nickel prices have soared tremendously uh, beyond what anyone predicted over the last few weeks, over the last month, clearly this is affecting automakers. But it's affecting China a lot less. Why is that? Well, because China, the majority of electric cars now that are sold in China actually use LFP batteries or lithium ion phosphate batteries, and they don't use any nickel at all. Yes, they do sell ternary batteries in China as well. They're about 40% of the market. But as you can see, there is that ability to pivot there. There is that ability to kind of move from one to the other a little bit as prices go up or down for different chemistry. That's a big advantage that the Chinese auto market have, and it's one that the West doesn't have because nearly 95% of all batteries in electric cars or in plug-in hybrids sold in Europe, in North America, in Canada, basically outside of China, only use lithium ternary batteries, and all, pretty much all those batteries have nickel in them. That said, though, chip shortages and rising raw material costs are definitely impacting production and operations, and they're leading to Chinese car makers increasing the prices of their cars a little bit. But remember, they're starting from a pretty low base. EVs in China are much cheaper than what they are anywhere else in the world. This is what we heard from the CAAM, which is basically the government in China. We remain cautiously optimistic about the future development of the industry, while advising companies to pay timely attention to changes in the internal and external situation. Now remember, China accounted for 53% of all electric cars sold worldwide in 2021. That figure might even increase this year. We're, we're likely to see about 8 million electric vehicle sales in China this year. That's going to be more than 10% of the entire global automotive supply chain. That is incredible. Thanks for watching the channel and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.